How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. Charles. And we're back with Clanner. We are back with our Sobi box, our Azakul box, our Takuhaibin box. We're back with all the boxes, basically. Now, previously, we were trying to hunt for some bread. And, you know, we found the best bread ever. Bread with cream and chocolate in it. And I got jealous. Now we're in the drama club. And I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm guessing this could be the start of, you know, the main plot of the game. Because, again, apparently the game's meant to be revolving around this drama club. And, you know, helping people and supporting them. And then getting them all to come together in harmony and friendship. Anyway, <laughs> how much time do we have? Said Tomoya. We have about 20 minutes until the first bell. Okay, let's use that time to make a flyer that says the club's looking for members. I mean, that sounds nice. I didn't know one of you could draw. Okay. Furukawa nods vigorously, excitement building with each bob of her head. I mean, that, that's always nice. The two of us start writing things down with magic markers. Whoa, magic markers? What, what, what kind of spells can you do? Can you do Wingardium Leviosa? Can you do, can you, can you get a rab out of your hat? Can you do a Vala Kadabra? Because there are a few people I want to kill. Probably just normal highlighters, aren't they? Well, whatever. Are they actually called that in America or something, though? Magic markers. Because I know we have strange names for shit. I, I, I can't really think what they are because I'm British and, yeah, that's normal for me. But magic markers, really? <laughs> My dick's a magic marker, hey. On a piece of office paper, we need to start by choosing a date for an open house, and we can tell people more about the club then. When should we make it? I don't know, a certain date? I mean, I know we've got a date in the top left corner, but honestly, I haven't been paying attention to it. We won't be able to get anyone in the doors if it's too soon. So how about two weeks from now? Okay, so the... The, the 1st of May? Is it the 1st of May? 30 days have September, April, June. Yes, that would be the 1st of May. Fine. Okay, if we say club activity started at the beginning of May, that would sound nice and clean. I mean, it's nice they think of this stuff. I personally wouldn't have. I can only hope things go that well. Squeak, squeak. It's done. Uh, was that meant to be the magic marker? Okay. Um, don't you think it could use a little more something? I mean, I can't see it myself, so I don't know. Like what? I think that what's missing is... Oh. Well, I'm not putting... Um... Right, is this going to like determine my relationship with Kua, whatever her name is? I forget it every mm, couple of moments. Or is it going to like determine who comes to the club, or... Well, I'm not doing sex appeal. I'm sorry, but I I'm not doing that with a little girl. I don't know what they mean by collaboration. And personally, I do like drawing once in a while. Ah, let's be honest, I'm just going to do the drawing one. A drawing? You're right. I think the post would be cuter with one. Hooray! So in that case, get drawing, Furukawa. Me? Who else is going to do it? You? <laughs> Had I not gotten an F in art, that may be a possibility. But I did, so it's not. It's not one of my strong subjects either. Oh, we need an artist. Did you ever have to draw a self-portrait in middle school? Yeah, I did. I tried really hard to draw mine, but the teacher came up to me and told me the curry I was drawing looked delicious. <laughs> I only just got that. that. That is harsh. Hey, mine told me that the catcher's mitt I was drawing looked really sturdy. Okay. Curry and a catcher's mitt. I wonder which one of those is worse. <laughs> Just draw those instead. I mean, it'll look kind of similar. My teacher even complimented me for being sure to draw the pickles on the side. <laughs> oh, this is depressing and funny at the same time. Mine went out of his way to call it a, t a catcher's mitt. Why that and not a regular baseball glove? That's what I want to know. Mm. Mm. Should I go get someone who's good at drawing? It probably makes sense. So would the other options have led to drawing as well? Because sex appeal, you probably need like a drawing thing. And collaboration, we need to find someone. So I guess my decision didn't make a difference. That actually was really reassuring. I stand up tired of the unproductive dispute we're having. Ah, please wait a moment. Huh? I'll just draw it. Oh no, don't, because you're just going to... Oh. Furukawa, I love you. 
please don't. Oh, I want us to do good in her life. I'm the club president after all. Yeah, that would be best. I sit back down. What should I draw? I don't know, an egg. Or a, a missile. A missile cruiser. Buru can't ask me with markers in her hands. Think of something yourself. Oh, that's not nice. She's trying to get you involved, man. Hmm. What are you good at drawing? I wonder. Curry? Oh, that's a bit mean. No! She totally shot me down there. It must really be an awful memory for her. Could I draw something simple? If that's okay, then there's one thing I'm good at drawing. Sure, as long as it's cute. It's super cute. Is it flowers? I mean, to be honest, that's what I'd do in this situation. Just draw a few, like, you know, blossoms or some shit. As soon as she finishes speaking, her hand begins moving as she hums a song. It's a melody I've heard somewhere before. I can't remember what it is, though. Is it meant to be like the music we had when we were, like, dreaming about that, that one dimension where everything was empty or some shit? Curious, I take a look, look at what she's putting down. I see a small circle with a face on it. <laughs> nice. You know what? That's pretty good. That is a bit of Leonardo da Vinci there. Just as she finishes drawing one, she draws more and more of the same thing. The club recruitment notice quickly finds itself occupied by strange creatures. It's done. I want to see it now. She proudly shows me the flyer. Gah. The whole poster is practically covered in mysterious creatures. <laughs> oh dear. It seems we have summoned some kind of demon. Conjured from the deepest circle of hell. I'm sure Dante would have loved this day. What are you, some kind of idiot? Oh, that's not nice. Sorry? Look, you can't even read the text. You're right, it's become very hard to read. Why do you draw all these bizarre creatures on here? They're not bizarre, they're very famous. Are they? What are they? The big Dango family? What's that meant to be? Is that going to be added or something? The, the big Dango family? It's the title of a song that became a huge hit well, a while back. I think it was used in a kid's show. Oh, so that's what the melody she was humming just now was. Okay, well I'll definitely Google that later. I suppose I could look at the dangle up here, wherever it is. Is it here? Is it somewhere here? I'm surprised it didn't get added, to be honest. Uh, oh, there we go. Small round Japanese dumplings. Alright, well I'm guessing it's more of a... Like, you know, they, they named themselves after the dumplings, so whatever, I guess. Okay, uh, anyone in Japan would know the song. Well, I'm going there soon, so I'm sure I'll hear the fuck out of it. The Big Danko family is a big family. That's why there's so many of them. Well, how many are you talking? We're talking like a, a tribe, or we're talking like a, a country worth, or a county worth, or, you know, a state worth if you're American? Let me, let me be straight up with you, Furukawa. Yes? You're really not... Wow, okay, you're really not cut out for this. You little shit, why would you have ambit? Why would you have dreams? Why would you even stand on your own two feet? What? what? The Big Dango family? How long ago was that? It's already dead and forgotten. What? It doesn't matter whether it's old or not. Something that's cute is always cute, regardless of when you look at it. I, I, I guess that makes sense. Okay. I'll admit that this might be cute, but it's out of fashion. You're really out of touch with what's popular, aren't you? Well, what is popular? Fucking bread? Am I? They're still cute to me. Really? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I start to rub my temples. Looking at what she's come up with, we might be better off if I just drew my catcher's mitt. This is very unsettling right now. I'm just going to say that. Any regular person who sees this is going to be repelled by it. It'd be one thing if she drew this as a joke, but she's serious about it. So, no big dango family. Furukawa's spirits begin to plummet as she watches my reaction. Why? I want to actually look at it myself and think, like, judge for myself. Because I don't trust Ogazaki. He's a dick to anything. If, like, you got elected as president, he'd probably say that the, the, the country's doomed or some shit. This isn't good. I can't let her sink into an utter pit of despair, which I placed her in. I have to do something. Well, I guess it's not bad. But you said it yourself, I'm not cut out for this. Yes, well that doesn't mean that the Big Dango family isn't cut out for the drama club. This is starting to require some mental gymnastics. 
Yeah, because you just literally threw off a cliff and now you're expecting her to fly. Why would you do that? And then try and... Well, no, why would you do that? Just, just that. Really, I don't know how to feel now. She doesn't seem particularly sold on the idea, but I do seem to have salvaged the situation. Yeah, just barely. I mean, if it was that bad, then why didn't you try and get, I don't know, maybe Sunahara or something? Just anyone. Even Kyo wouldn't have been that bad. She owes us. Hmm. As I stare at the flyer, I start to think that this actually shows what kind of person Furukawa, the club president, is. In that sense, maybe it's a lot better than a flyer adorned with lies. With what? How, how does a crowd of, like, a huge family represent what she is? In any case, we're done making our notice. It's got some, uh, spice to it. All's well that ends well. Okay, nice bit of Shakespeare there. After my strained attempt to wrap things up, I grab the piece of paper and stand. Where are you going? To the copier. Should I make a bunch and go around putting them up after school. But are they going to look good copied? Is it going to come out in black and white, grey tone or whatever it is? I think that's the most we could do today. Oh, okay. Um, fair enough. I mean, it's a good way of, like, preparing for May, I guess. After that, we use the copy in the teacher's room, then head back. Alright, sounds good. Well, we're getting involved in some, like, club activities. I return to class to find Sunahara with his face buried in the desk in front of him. It's probably because he wasn't able to buy whatever that new item on the lunch menu was. Well, there you go. I decide to leave him be. Is it really this tragic? Like, I know I get pissed off when I'm hungry or tired, but, like... Maybe just eat something else? I, I, I don't know what I can really suggest here. Alright, whatever. Oh, and then everyone left. Sunahara is still deje dejected, even after classes end, so I leave without him. What, well, we, we... I genuinely hope he's going to be okay here. Alright, just ditch our friend there, leave him... To be miserable after all we've done to contribute to his life like that time we got the the rugby players or whatever to bully him and we got that woman to beat him up because she was meant to practice physically against the rugby guys i head to the drama club room all right i didn't come here in any particular rush but i don't see furukawa what's she doing she does seem pretty slow okay well maybe you want to be nicer to your friends we're going to be here for like an hour and she's not going to turn up. I wait, but she doesn't show. Bored, I scribble on the edge of the blackboard. Day duty, Nakisa Furukawa. Hmm. I finish scribbling and wait a while longer, but she's still nowhere to be seen. Maybe something happened? I start to feel a little worried. Hmm, okay, this is actually going to be... I've got a feeling... I'm meant to do something here. But I... I mm, if we went looking for her, where would we go? Would we, like, go to her parents and then uh, her dad's dead or something? Or... I can't think where we'd look for her, to be honest. But I don't think waiting's gonna do anything, so... I mean, but is waiting just going to keep me in the room and then we'll get back to this option? I'll keep waiting. Because if it loops around, then I know I'm right. Mm, I keep waiting, but she just still doesn't show up. I'm going to leave without you. Fed up, I head out in the hallway. Or into the hallway. Oh. Alright, I think I made the wrong decision there, but whatever. Sigh. I look out the window directly ahead of me. My eyes wander gradually lower. And there she is. Gah, what's she doing? Does she think it's lunch or something? I wouldn't put it past her. Sheesh. I climb down the stairs. And, well, climb down the stairs. Doesn't sound very natural. So you don't, like, walk down, like, step by step. You actually, like, you know, gorilla monkey your way, like, across the banisters down the stairs and head to the courtyard. All right, what's happened to you? She's sitting in our usual lunch spot. I approach her. You know what? Didn't we say we were going to wait for her? I remember saying we were going to wait for her, and now we're looking for her. Not the moment where the decisions just don't make a difference, I guess. Hey, you know it's not lunch break. What are you doing here? Oh, 
no. Look, I know I'm a penis, but forgive me for my sins. Furukara is holding a bamboo broom, spinning its handle around in her hand. She sits without a word. From the looks of it, she's down again. What's wrong? Did something happen? I sit next to her. Twirl, twirl. Sand gets caught in the bamboo broom's tips as she continues spinning it in front of her feet. So it's your turn on class cleaning duty, eh? Yes. Well, that sucks. She finally answers. So, what's wrong? Why aren't you cleaning? I was. You were, were you? So why'd you stop? Um, well, it's because... She thinks for a bit. Then she quickly stands up. It's nothing I'd need to talk to you about, Okazaki-san. Oh no. After saying that, she starts to walk off. Hey, hold on a second. I get up too and follow after her. I don't get you, you know that? You're, go you're now gonna treat me like a bad guy? I mean, we were a dick earlier on. No, Kazaki-san. You're a, you're a good person. Yeah, you know, your drama club's shit and I don't know why I hang out with you. And I don't know why I even care about my friends, so I ditch him in class. <sighs> I know, like, we're not exactly a criminal, but I wouldn't say we're a good person. I'd say we're just very average. You don't have to go so far as to call me a good person, but I'm not the kind of person who'd harm you, right? That, that sounds more accurate to me. That's right. Then you can just tell me what's wrong, like you always do. I'm dragging you into something, Okazaki-san, and it's not very fun. I'm wasting your time, and I don't want that to happen. Well, I don't have anything else to do in this fucking country, I guess. We can just, you know, start a manga group or something. That's not- I'm not- be, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, I just think like, you know, what else would you do if you were in Japan? Personally, I'd love to open like a manga branch. <laughs> It'd be stressful, and I'd die at like, 28. Because I just wouldn't be able to handle it, but you know. That's not true, it's plenty fun. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Mm. Furukawa stops, then starts spinning the broom handle again where she stands. I just gaze at her. Okay, well that's always a nice thing to do. All of a sudden, I feel uncomfortable. Okay, what kind of stuff is she leading us down? Are we gonna find out that she actually like has to? I don't know, eat a eat a dog every week or something, like to sustain her life. I mean, if it was cats, they'd be really like sad and depressed. I wouldn't be able to take it, but you know, I can forgive the dogs thing. I feel another me, one that's less attached to the situation, watching us as this takes place. What am I doing? I lose track of time for just a moment. As this happens, Furukawa just looks down at the ground, ever silent. For now, I need to focus on cheering her up. Food. That's right, food. Just stuff her face, I guess. I start thinking of different kinds of food. Alright. What is it? What- what is- what is that she likes? Do you mean what is it that- what- What is that she likes? It's not really a sentence, but okay. The Big Dango family? Back when the song was popular, every supermarket you walked in had huge packs of Dango made to look like those characters. Furukara, you like Dango, don't you? Yes? Then say the words Big Dango family for me. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Why don't we just say we're going to get some Dango together? Or we could brow, I don't know. Say the words Big Dango family. I wouldn't ask someone to do that to cheer them up, to be honest. Use that to cheer yourself up. Do you think some stores will still sell the Big Dango family? Probably, but don't worry about that right now. So just say the words and use them as your mantra. Mm. Furukawa closes her eyes and then... Big Dango family! She says the words with conviction, like a criminal. So do you feel more calm? Yes. After she opens her eyes, she seems a little bit more positive, relaxed, like whatever was bothering her loosens its grip a bit. You can tell me what happened later. For now, just go do what you need to do. Okay! She grabs the broom in her hands and walks off. The big Dango family seems to have a miraculous effect on her. I watch her as she fades out of view. I mean, I guess that was kind of nice. Um, I'll save the posting flies a bit for later because I think I'm going to end the episode here. But I'm guessing Furukara might have, like, depression or something? I don't know if it's, like, something's actually bothering her at home. Because she seems to have, like, a nice family. But I know, like, you know, depression can be genetic. It can be a past thing. It can be, like, loads of things. 
So, I, I guess we're going to be looking out for her and trying to support her in that sense. But what's going to happen next time? Are we going to... Uh, does that say stairs? Sorry, there's, there's a symbol there and I recognise it saying stairs. Alright, I'm being a child again. I'm sure I must have seen this corridor before anyway. But yeah, what's going to happen next time? Are we going to get some new members at last for the club? I mean, probably not because, you know, it's two weeks away from us actually doing anything with the club apparently. But we may see that in the next episode. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself and you want to like create a drama club, comfort some people, be nice and warm on the inside of your heart, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado, look for the subscribe channel. Until next time, see ya!